In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how a person becomes a member, a paid member, on your WordPress site using both Stripe and Paid Memberships Pro together. And we're going to be running a live credit card, and we're going to actually charge my own credit card as I become a member of my own membership site. I'm going to show you how all of that works. This is part of the membership building playlist. The details in that playlist are down below, so check it out step by step how to build a membership site. You can actually do it in a couple hours. It's really quick. And again, this video is about becoming a paid member and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head to the screen capture and see how someone becomes a paid member of your membership site. I'll see you there. All right, so I'm in my WP Learning Lab Stripe account and this one is activated. And I've changed my API settings. So I've got my new API keys from the API section here, put them into the plugin. And now we're gonna actually test first using a sandbox to accept payments. And then if that sandbox works, we're gonna try a live test. So I'm just going to head over to Google and type in Stripe testing credit card and find a test number. All these numbers down here are test numbers. So you can choose any one of them to test the card type. And these are known test numbers with these brands. So if Visa sees this charge appearing, they're not gonna red flag it because they know it's a test number. So it's no big deal. So I'm just gonna copy that, go back to here Finally, get to select our membership level. Now we're at the checkout page. What's gonna be interesting to see is if this works because we don't have an HTTPS, so there's no SSL certificate on the site. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of message I get and what kind of phone calls I get after trying this. So the expiration date, this has to be some date in the future. The CVV, just any three digit number, I believe. The card number, again, that's the demo number from the Stripe site. Terms of service, yes, I accept. Submit and check out. So I got a message saying, your card was declined, your request was in live mode, but used an unknown test card. Even though it's the test card that we got right from Stripe, the site. So let's just try getting a different one. Let's just try this one, I already highlighted it. Try that, put that one in here. Let's put this long time ahead. And let's see if this one works. Click on submit and check out. Unknown test card again. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is something really crazy. I'm gonna change the membership amount to $1, and then I'm gonna use my own credit card. And I'm just gonna see what happens. And check that, I don't wanna make it recurring. Okay, so now change the platinum level to cost $1. If we go back out here, it says 15 right now. If I refresh this page, this will stay 15, this will be $1. To change that, we have to change the actual name of the membership level, so I'm just gonna go in here and change that to say just $1. Now I'm gonna use my real credit card on a non-SSL, which is pretty risky, actually kinda of stupid, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just to see if it'll work. So I'm gonna put my credit card in here, I'm gonna pause while I fill out the form, Okay, now I've got real deal credit card details in there. We're gonna see if Stripe processes this without an SSL. Let's cross our fingers and see what happens. Looks like that went through. So it was still in test mode. So if I go back to our plugin here, just to confirm, if we go back into page settings, could have gone right to payment settings actually. Payment and SSL, we see we are in sandbox mode. So we're not in live, so my card wasn't actually charged but it was processed successfully. Stripe confirmed my card exists and it works and Jimmy is now a $1 member, which is pretty awesome, so that worked. I'm gonna click on view your membership for Jimmy and what Jimmy can do now is just as the free account, we had an invoice for the free account, but he also has an invoice for the paid account now. And this is a more serious invoice because people can download these, print them off, use them for tax write-offs, things of that nature. Now if we go back and see what we actually did this all for. Go back to the Platinum page. We're gonna see the Platinum content and no longer a register here to see this content. This is the awesome member content. And that's it. 
that's how we lock pages. This is the whole membership shebang. We just built a membership site with this plugin. We added membership levels. We created all the membership pages. We created a payment, or added a payment processor and we protected content. And now your job after you have this all set up is to create more content every month to keep people happy and engaged. So that's how easy it is for someone to become a paid member after you've integrated payment processing with your membership site. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you want to check out the rest of this membership playlist, check that out down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.